Hello everybody, today I wanna to share with you guys how you can create this five-in-one layout for Instagram Reels. I posted this reel a while back asking if you guys wanted to learn this and honestly I wasn't surprised but I got like hundreds of DMs and comments asking me how you can actually make this five in one layout. I think this layout is a really great way to be able to utilize a lot of your horizontal footage that you never would have been able to actually fit into a vertical crop. Not to mention this layout will definitely grab your audience's attention and help you really stand out. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro today but keep in mind you can also use Final Cut or Dimension Resolve with what I'm going to be showing you guys today and unfortunately to my knowledge I do not think you can create this on your phone and to be honest I don't think you should anyways I think it's much easier to do this on your computer before we start though I do want to let you guys know that this is one lesson out of 40 plus different lessons from my Instagram reels creator course that I plan to release very soon sometime in August where we will go so much more in depth about how I shoot edit and what I do to give my reels a much higher chance of going viral. Originally, I was planning to make it for my more advanced followers, but I wanted to create a course that anybody can start. In this course, you'll be able to learn how I shoot jaw-dropping cinematic footage like I do, edit extremely fast like a professional up to five to 10 reels in one day, and be able to formulate a viral reel and understand what makes them go viral in the first place. The great thing about this course is that no matter what niche you're in, basketball, you're an unboxing channel, you're a skateboarder, you make travel content, or you're a film maker like me, no matter what niche you're in, you'll be able to make viral reels as long as you have a camera and a editing software. If you guys do want to stay updated on when I do release this course, then make sure to sign up for my newsletter down below. I will leave a link. And if you do sign up, you will receive a coupon code for when I actually do release that course. Only you guys that are watching this video right now will know about this and have access to this. So yeah, make sure you sign up if you do want that coupon code. All right, so now jumping inside Premiere Pro, let's actually create a new project file. So once you've created a new project file, let's actually create two sequences. The first one is gonna be your master project where you're gonna to upload to Instagram Reels afterwards. And the second sequence is how you're actually gonna crop the footage correctly so you can fit five clips inside the master project. So let me show you what I mean. We're gonna go into file and we're gonna actually create a new sequence. And I've already created a preset for this, but let me just show you what my preset settings are. Time base is gonna be 23.9. Frame size is gonna be 2160 by 3840, which is a nine by 16 crop ratio. Square pixels, 1.0, no fields, progressive scan, Rec 709 color mode. If you wanted to save it, you can actually hit save preset right over here. I'm not gonna do it because I've already created a preset, but we're gonna name the sequence name as master project, just so we know. So now we're gonna go back to the same thing and create another new sequence and uh, we can actually uh, use this as a preset and make sure all the settings are exactly the same, except we're actually gonna change one thing, which is the frame size for the vertical. We're actually gonna divide that number by how many clips we wanna fit inside of our master project. So since we're doing five, we're gonna divide 3,840 by five, which I'm gonna need a calculator for that. Let's see, 3840 divided by five, which is gonna be 768. So there you go. It's gonna be 2160 by 768 as your second sequence and we're uh, gonna name it five piece. We're gonna name it five piece. And keep in mind, if you wanted to fit three or two or four clips inside of your master project, all you have to do is just divide your vertical resolution, which for instance was 3840. So if you wanted three, you just divide it by three, and then that would be how you fit three inside the master project. But yeah, that's the formula. And uh, with that being said, let's actually create this new sequence now. So now we have two sequences. One is the master project. It's just your typical vertical uh, crop sized image that fits Instagram perfectly. And then we have this sequence now that is actually cropped perfectly for a five piece layout. And I'm actually gonna be using some shots that I shot with my Sony ZV-E10, as well as my DJI Mavic 2. Some of these shots I thought were really great, even though it was shot on like a pretty budget camera. Colors, lighting, uh, composition wise, I thought it looked really good. And I also got some really cool drone shots uh, that I wanna mix in there as well. I made sure to sort of select 
shots that sort of uh, go well together and match each other in terms of like maybe color grading or composition or just like the scenery. I wanted to make everything sort of uh, feel cohesive and uh, go along with each other. Make sure to try to use shots that sort of go well together rather than like a bunch of random, you know, shots. It definitely makes it look a lot better in my opinion. So yeah. Once you have your five clips, what you need to do now is actually transfer them all into your second sequence that we created, which is the five piece sequence. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste that into here. And as you can see, it's um, not fitted yet. So what we're gonna need to do now is just adjust it manually and that looks good to me. Looks good to me. Yeah, some of these shots are done in 4K and some are done in 1080p, so it's kind of different for all of them. So I'm just eyeing it out, but I'm just gonna fit them. Here we go. All right, so now once you have your five shots fitted, perfectly to the five piece sequence, we're now gonna nest each individual clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and nest this so that way we uh, crop the image, we save it. Make sure to nest it in five individual ones, don't nest it as one big one. And then we're actually gonna copy and paste that into now the master project. And now you guys will notice that all of our clips are actually uh, cropped in this like narrow uh, format. And now I'm just gonna remove all the audio clips from the bottom and I'm gonna just stack all these clips on top. And now from here, I'm just gonna manually fit all these clips uh, from top to bottom. I'll actually figure out what I want on top first. It's actually this one that I want on the very top. So I'm actually just gonna get it just right, kind of just eye it out. And then for the second one, I actually uh, would like to do this one really rad drone shot. We're gonna fit this right under it. And this one will be the middle. We don't actually need to touch that at all. Uh, this one is gonna be the next one. I'm gonna lay it out over here. And then for the last one, obviously, I'm gonna drag it to the bottom. Gonna fix this. All right, and there you go. That looks really cool, um, super cinematic. I love those drone shots. And yeah, just something to keep in mind is when you do lay them out, so lay them out from top to bottom and make sure it's also uh, the same inside your timeline. This will you know, save you a ton of headaches and you'll be way more organized and you'll know how to sort of switch out uh, these different clips. So I know I kind of put together this really quickly for this demonstration, but while I was actually editing uh, this five in one layout, I actually had like over maybe like 20 different shots that I was working with and I was trying to figure out sort of what was like the best shots that I wanted to use inside this five in one layout. I was uh, swapping out a bunch of shots, uh, moving the drone shots around, you know, switching it out with other shots. It definitely takes some time, but you sort of want to lay it out in a way that just feels balanced and even. I don't know sort of how to describe it, but when you start making these five in one layouts, you'll realize that you can't just throw in random shots and uh, expect it to look good. Once we have that, uh, obviously I would put a song on the bottom. Uh, I'm not gonna play the song because I'm probably gonna get copyrighted. But if you guys have not seen the official reel yet with the, you know, the original music that I intended to go with, uh, check out my Instagram. It's actually a really cool song. If you know where that song is from, then you're a real one. And yeah, from here, I would just hit export. And I'm not gonna go over my export settings because I've already created a dedicated video for that. If you guys do wanna learn about my export settings, then uh, head over to this video right over here. All right, so there you have it. We have just finished the five in one edit. If you guys make one yourselves following this tutorial, definitely tag me in it. I would love to see your guys' work. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to get back to all of you guys. Make sure to find me on Instagram if you have not already and check out my reels and let me know what you think. And if you guys do want that coupon code for my Instagram reels course that I have coming up in August, then make sure to sign up for my newsletter. Let me know down in the comments so which video you guys want to see next. I need some more YouTube ideas. Thank you so much for watching once again, guys. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.